Hey bikers, Liza here with a video on helmets. Um, so there's some great reasons why you should wear a helmet when riding an electric bike. A, it's the law. B, it protects your head. So first going back to A, the law. In Ontario, if you're riding an e-bike, no matter your age, you must wear a helmet according to the law. Um, People on regular bicycles, non-motorized, pedal power, whatever you want to call them, they have a choice after the age of 18. They can either wear a helmet or opt not to. Uh, this isn't the case with e-bikes. It's one of the places where e-bikes differ from regular bicycles. You must wear a helmet. Now, it can also be mentioned that people riding an e-bike, whether they be the operator or a passenger, must also be over the age of 16. Um, and then, going back to this part B, protecting your head. Um, in an accident, you don't want your brains all over the road. You want your precious brains to stay in between your ears. So a helmet will accomplish that most of the time, <laughs> barring any really severe injuries, which of course we hope never ever happens. Um, so two styles of helmets here. The one on the left is a motorcycle helmet and the one on the right is a bicycle helmet. Even though maybe the bicycle helmet doesn't look exactly like a traditional bicycle helmet that you would see out on the roads, but we'll get to that in a few minutes. Um, so we'll start off with this motorcycle helmet. This is a Voss motorcycle helmet. It is DOT certified. Now, DOT certified is extremely important when looking at motorcycle helmets. Um, that basically means it's been through rigorous uh, accident testing and is the most likely to protect your head. I believe all legal motorcycle helmets in Ontario have to be DOT certified as well. Uh, this particular helmet I got from bikerleathers.ca. They're located in Mississauga. I bought it online on sale. I believe it was about $90 when I got it and they shipped it directly to me. It came in about 24 hours. Uh, great little helmet. It's got a nice visor. Really good for keeping the mayflies out of your mouth and for keeping your face warm in colder weather. It's got removable padding, adjustable chin strap, and it also has a lever, le lever on the side, sorry, um, that triggers these awesome little sunglasses that pop down. Uh, nothing bad to say about this helmet. What would have been nice if it came with a bag of some kind. I did buy a bag for it. I believe at Princess Auto at one point. Um, not very good quality bag to be honest, but it did the job and uh, that's how I carried that around to help prevent it getting scratched. Moving on, this is my new bicycle helmet because I've changed the style of bike that I'm riding. Uh, this is a Son helmet. I bought it at Scuderetti in Ottawa, Ontario when I was there looking at um, new for a new e-bike. Now this one retails at about $130, <laughs> uh, not on sale, regular price. Uh, really nice helmet, like I said, non-traditional, which I like about it. I've never really seen anything like it before. Comes in a wide range of colors and other than the gloss, which this one is, there is a matte style as well. Uh, very adjustable. Comes with two sets of padding. Uh, this is a thicker set that I have in and there's also a thinner set, which you can interchange to get the best fit for your head. The ear pieces are just below the ear to adjust, adjust the chin strap and this little knob in the back of the head um, adjusts so that you can tighten the helmet up a bit um, around the circumference of your head. Um, for airflow, it has uh, these grooves which move the air from front to back. Um, this helmet did come with this great bag, which I was really happy about. It's a padded bag, um, sawn bag, that also works as a knapsack because it's got these great holders here. Um, very, very nice for keeping your helmet uh, unscathed <laughs> when you're transporting it when not wearing it. Uh, so really, that's it for helmets. All I can say, um, scooter style, you probably are going to want to look at a motorcycle style helmet because um, 
Well, because it looked better on a scooter style, scooter style bikes are heavier, it makes a lot more sense. Um, and then a bicycle helmet for an open size, open frame style bicycle uh, is perfectly acceptable as well. Uh, so once again, I got this Voss helmet. I purchased that online at, at uh, bikerleathers.ca and the bicycle helmet I got at Scooter Ready. They also have an online store with these on there. Uh, and uh, I picked that one up in Ottawa. So. I will put some links in the description below so that uh, you can find both stores without any issue if you're interested in looking in more helmets by these uh, two or provided by these two wonderful stores and uh, ride safe Kingston take care